Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? Let me introduce myself. My name is Kent. The channel's EOS San Diego, and of course I talk all things EOS. Uh, today's been a pretty long day for me. It's getting pretty late for me to upload this video. But I, I was gonna do a live stream today. I wasn't able to do that because I wanted to, um, there's a couple things I, I, uh, I wanted to check out because I was gonna do a live stream. And actually, the live stream that I was gonna do ended up being what this video is about tonight but I wanted to check a few things out before I made the video. Um, and of course I wanted to, you know, what I'm gonna do on a live stream is I'm gonna make, we're gonna start covering things a little more deeper with, uh, with EOS, more involved with uh, the, the, the inner workings of EOS, how it works. We'll go to the command line, we'll do some programming. Um, I'll show you everything I know. Uh, we'll go through the code of uh, our DAP that we're developing and show you how we're writing the smart contract and how it works, the mainnet, mainnet monitor, all the things that go on with EOS, how you can, how you can, uh, how you can verify things on EOS, how, how transparent it is, and just literally all the intricate things about EOS. Uh, but what I was gonna make the video about tonight, the live stream was about uh, creating an EOS account, which is more difficult than I thought originally, and the reason is I hadn't really done it because when we created our account, we actually just did the airdrop at the same time. So we went right to the command line, we created the account, and we did the airdrop, but I've never really gone through the process of creating an account. And uh, I had a little bit of EOS on an exchange um, that wasn't, uh, I didn't put it on, uh, I didn't register it with, uh, actually it was on Binance. So uh, I have a little bit of EOS on Binance, so today I tried to open an account uh, with that little bit of EOS, another account outside the others that we have, and it was very difficult, more difficult than I thought it was going to do. So I'm, I'm starting to realize a lot of people that were saying this was hard to do weren't kidding. It, it's very hard to do, and the and the problem that it's hard is because if you bought the EOS after the mainnet launch, you weren't part of the snapshot. If you were part of the snapshot, there was a little bit of RAM associated with your account, which allowed you to open the account uh, with EOS. If you don't have that, it's just, it's literally very difficult because you have to buy the RAM before you can open the account. And if you don't have the RAM, you can't open the account. So if you go to some of these wallets uh, or Scatter or any of these other things, it won't allow you to just to go to the mainnet and create an account because you, have, don't, you don't have purchased any RAM. But there's a really good solution. And I really think this is the best thing out there. It's uh, it's EOS Linux, E O S L Y N X. It's a mobile wallet. It's you can download it on uh, on on your Apple device or your Android. And I did it just a little bit ago with the with the EOS that I had on on. Uh, uh, actually, I didn't do. It. I just created the account. It's 99 cents. But um, this has really wor really worked well. I'll put the link to the video and the link to the to the to the uh, uh, to to their. Um, you can get it in Google Play or you can get it in the in the in the App Store. But anyway, this thing will allow you literally to open an account just within a few minutes. I think it just took me a few minutes to open the account, and it's 99 cents, and so you don't have to have the RAM in order to open the account, which makes it very difficult. It's already there, so everything gets done really seamlessly. And then if you want to check it out, you just go to the EOS mainnet monitor, you put in your account name and you can see where it's, it's created, and um, then you're, you're off to the races. I mean, then now you got an EOS account, a uh, fully functional EOS account, which you can do whatever you want to do. So that EOS Linux wallet is really a great, uh, a great feature. And uh, I, I telegrammed him tonight and told him how much I thought of it. It's a really great feature. And it's easy to set up an a EOS account now. Now with that EOS wallet, there should be nobody having any problems with setting up EOS accounts because it's very, very easy to do with that, that wallet. And it just charges you 99 cents, so it's, it's inexpensive too. So I wanted to, to put that out there because this is really a great feature. But the other thing too is a lot of the EOS is still in the main net. I mean, we did an airdrop well, probably over a month ago. And I think 97% of the uh, of our RAM is still staked, so people haven't moved from the mainnet to an account or to a wallet because it's still we're still paying the RAM on it. So most of the RAM, most of the the, the, the EOS, isn't in a wallet. All the wallet is is literally just a place to store your keys. Uh, it's not where your physical EOS is at. 
your physical EOS is still in the main net. So um, a lot of people make a lot out of it more than I think they should. And that's the problem with crypto. It scares a lot of people off because you've got this big intimidating uh, private key that everybody says you got to keep very secure, safety deposit boxes, all the stuff you can't lose it. But the problem is, is it's just very difficult to open an account. <laughs> More difficult than I thought originally. So this is a real seamless, easy way to open an account. And then once you open an account, then you have everything you need. And it's on your mobile device, so it's very, uh, it's very, uh, it's it's very convenient too. So anyway, I want to make the video. I will make a video next week. I don't know quite what I'm going to cover yet. I think I just go to the command line. Uh, we'll go to the Kleos command line on, on, I'll show you how to do that. And maybe we'll, um, we'll create a node. Uh, you, we'll start running the node. So I'll show you how to do that. So anyway, um, like I say, I'll make the, uh, the, uh, tomorrow, uh, next weekend, I'll make the, uh, uh, the live stream and we'll just, uh, we'll go to the command line, create a node. And, um, like I say, this wallet is really, really great. And I'll put the link for it below. And like I said, just the Google, the Google play, uh, Apple store and very easy to do. Very, there's a little bit of a, of a tutorial, just a few minutes long, and I'll link that to that too. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.